Mike Singletary out as San Francisco 49ers head coach after two years. Where do the San Francisco 49ers go from here? I'll cover that next. This is the American Sports Show with Teddy Eddie. This is the American Sports Show. Now, here's your host, Teddy Eddie. Hello, sports fans. I am Teddy Eddie. Welcome to the American Sports Show. Said the San Francisco 49ers have fired Mike Singletary as their head coach. He took over an interim basis in 2008, and he, this season, San Francisco was expected to get 9 or 10 wins, get that home playoff game with the NFC West title, maybe win a game, and really have a lot of success because they had a lot of good players in place. They kind of were lacking at the quarterback position, but they built a defense around Patrick Willis, built an offense around Frank Gore and Vernon Davis. But Mike Singletary couldn't done. Lots of, he had uh, sideline arguments with Alex Smith, Vernon Davis, and just this past game, yesterday, with Troy Smith, when they lost to the Rams 25-17. to They officially lost playoff contention yesterday, and it is reported that is what caused the firing. So Mike Singletary is out as head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. Where does San Francisco go from here? Well, you can go back to your roots, back to your Mike Holmgren roots. And it's very doubtful that Mike Holmgren would um, accept this position, but Mike Holmgren, going back, you know, he's a San Francisco guy. They need a general manager, too. Could he become a head coach and GM? Like he was in Seattle, but Seattle didn't turn out, I don't think, the way Mike Holmgren or the Seahawks wanted it to. So I don't know if the 49ers will go that route. There's another route in that Bill Walsh coaching tree of John Gruden, who's in the booth right now. Could he? There's a possibility he come, could come back to San Francisco to coach. He's under that Mike Holmgren um, tutelage. So uh, John Gruden, maybe. Maybe Josh McDaniels, who recently got fired by Denver. Uh, there's rumors of Gary Kubiak maybe going to get fired in Houston, but there's, uh, he'll probably end up in Denver if that does happen. So the 49ers now don't have a general manager, they don't have a coach, and they don't have a quarterback. Those three things are the main three things you need to succeed in the National Football League. You can have all the pieces around them, but if you don't have the general manager, the coach, and the quarterback, you won't succeed, and that's basically proof here at San Francisco. Why did Mike Singletary succeed? I think Mike Singletary was a motivator, and that's it. He wasn't very good at X's and O's. You know, he just he thought maybe getting in these guys' faces yelling at us, screaming, would motivate him and get the team to play better, but it just tore the team apart. Um, the more he yelled at people, the more star players he yelled at, like Alex and Troy Smith and then Vernon Davis. We'll probably remember um, Mike Singletary, much like we'll remember Dennis Green from a post-game press conference. It is, it is a shame, but it is, um, it is the truth. So they could go... You know, with maybe an assistant, maybe the New York Giants' Kevin Gilbride. Who knows? Maybe if Tom Coughlin gets fired, he could come here. So Coughlin, Gruden, maybe Josh McDaniels, maybe Gary Kubiak. What do you guys think? Do you get, Who do you want to see as the 49ers head coach? Leave that in the comments below. Don't forget to su subscribe if you like the channel. Remember, Mike Singletary fired as San Francisco 49ers head coach. This has been the American Sports Show with Daddy Eddie.